would like to read you a special story today called Leaping Lola. Now this is my most recent story that I have written. It was illustrated by a lovely lady called Anil Toto. Let's begin. Leaping Lola. Down in the meadow, all boggy with mud, Clarissa the cow was chewing her cud. Up on the hilltop, a calf caught her eye. Flouncing and bouncing, she frolicked on by. Oh no, cried Clarissa. Lola don't prance. Jersey's a milk house. We're not built to dance. I can't help it, mother. Try as I might. I need to practice for the ball tonight. Goodness, what is Lola up to? High on back haunches, click clopping her hooves, Lola flicked up her tail in fabulous moves. A pirouette here, a pirouette there, spiralling up with the wind in her hair. Lola's a pretty good dancer. But down in the milk shed, chomping on hay, Lola's plans for the ball slithered away. No dance for you, said Mother with a frown. It's the black and white ball, and you are brown. And there's some other cows going to the ball, but they're black and white. And Lola is a jersey. What will happen? Flipped, flopped in the slop of her friend Pearl's pigsty, Lola told her sad tale and had a good cry. Poor Lola, she's very sad. And there's her lovely friend Pearl. I have an idea, squealed Pearl in delight. If you want to go, I'll dress you just right. Goodness, what can Pearl do? At the barn door, Lola sashayed on in, flashing the doorman a big toothy grin. The twang of the band made her wriggle and giggle. Her neck gave her nod, her bottom a jiggle. Swishing her tail to the beat of the bass, Lola rose on her toes with exquisite grace. And look how beautiful she is for the ball. Whooping and bumping her bountiful hide and crossing the floor with a swoop and a slide. Mad for the music, she kicked up her heels, wowing the crowd with extravagant reels. My goodness, she's a good dancer, Lola. Enthralled by the tunes, she soared in the air, swirling and twirling her large derriere. Then missing her landing, falling and gliding, she parted the herd, slipping and sliding. Oh goodness, what's gone wrong with Lola's dance? Smash, bash, crash, Lola knocked the milk tower. Splish, splash, splash came the gushing white shower. Oh, goodness, and there's Lola somewhere in there. The downpour of milk washed mud from her hide, swamping the guests in the flood of the tide. The cows were in chaos, mooing in fright. There's an imposter among us tonight. Oh, dear, poor Lola. A deep voice boomed from the rear of the hall as the prize-winning bull stormed from his stall. Hmm, he's looking a little angry. All cows want to dance, no matter their breed. Dance for us, Lola. We'll follow your lead. Laughing with glee, Lola took to the floor, bounding with vigour as never before. She led the line dancing, sloshing in mud, with a romp and a stomp and a thump and a thud. When dawn broke the night, cows swaggered away, Contented, they snoozed upon mounds of soft hay. But up on the hill, with a twist and a twirl, Lola was leaping with her best friend, Pearl. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Lola. She really liked to dance, didn't she? Even though it became a little bit chaotic. I hope you like to, enjoy, uh, to dance and enjoy yourself. But more so, I hope you like to read stories. And I hope 